Good morning. It's good to see you today. Hope you're doing well. Our reading today comes from Luke 22, verses 31 through 34, the conversation between the Lord and Peter. It's after the Lord's instituted the Lord's Supper, after the Lord has washed the disciples' feet. It says, And the Lord said, Simon, Simon, indeed Satan has asked for you that he may sift you as wheat, but I have prayed for you that your faith should not fail, and when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. But he said to him, Lord, I am ready to go with you both to prison and to death. Then he said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster shall not crow this day before you will deny three times that you know me. It is always interesting in Scripture when someone is given a new name and then from that point forward to see what name is used by the Lord and in Scripture itself. He starts off saying, Simon, Simon. But then in verse 34, he says, I tell you, Peter. What can get in the way of Simon becoming who he needs to be in Peter? What can get in our way of becoming who the Lord wants us to be? The first thing I wanted to mention is pride. They had just been arguing about who amongst them was the greatest. When we are proud, we will not become who the Lord wants us to be, first thing. Second thing, our past religion. The Lord just instituted the Lord's Supper. He says, this is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. Right With Simon, what he had to let go of was Judaism. Not that it was destroyed, but that it was fulfilled. If he was going to be the Christian who he needed to be, he was going to have to understand that new covenant. Right? He's going to have to understand that. Past religion can get in our way of becoming who we need to become right? as we follow the Lord and His covenant. Also, I would suggest our own misunderstandings and ideas about the Lord. Right, The Lord had washed their feet. Remember what Jesus had told Peter? You do not understand what I'm doing, but you will. Here later on, it's going to be Peter who pulls out that sword in the garden and Jesus says, put it away. Right? Our own misunderstandings and ideas about the Lord and His kingdom can get in the way of becoming who we need to become. A fourth thing I would mention is fear. Maybe it's fear about what other people think. You might think about what's going to happen to Simon Peter as he denies the Lord. It might be fear of letting go of the past. After the Lord's resurrection, it's going to be Peter back on that boat fishing again. It might be um, a fear of suffering and death. The Lord's going to tell Peter, um, about his own death at the end of John's account. We need to understand that perfect love casts out fear. But within these verses, I would suggest the beautiful thing is the lesson that the Lord gives as he says, Simon, Simon. He had not used that name in Luke's account. There is no indication of him using that name ever since Simon was called to be an apostle as it talks about Simon Peter. Ever since then, he had not used that name. And then all of a sudden, he drops it here. He drops that name, and he says, Simon, Simon, indeed Satan has asked for you. Simon needed to become who he, who he needed. Simon needed to become Peter. In verse 34, I tell you, Peter, when you return, as he, says, as he talks about, the rooster shall not crow this day before you'll deny me three times that you know me. He needed to become Peter. It's an, amazing, it's an amazing lesson to see the Lord use those names and you think about the ramifications of using those names. We need to become who the Lord wants us to be. Hope you enjoyed this study. God bless you. We'll see you tomorrow morning.